27th uh, archery season in uh, Ohio and uh, this is what we're going to be looking at here today. So the urban coming in over there hitting a salt block over there with a small food plot and then walking over there and into this soybean field. So we're going to videotape our hunt. I've been out four times already this year. Seen a few deer, shot at one, missed, haven't had any other shots, saw a bunch of coyotes, um, could have shot one of those but didn't. So we're going to see how we do today and we're going to try to film it. About a hundred yards away, there's about five deer in the middle of the field. I just, I just shot a buck. I'm so pumped. Oh my god. Whew. I was so busy watching those five deer come in. They were going that way. Oh, they're, the wind is coming this way. Oh my god. The buck is down. Oh my god. The wind is coming this way. They're walking this way to get downwind. Um, and that buck just he came from the left I kept hearing something I kept looking over I thought it was Cardinals the train was gone oh god so I couldn't really hear anything too crazy he came right on this trail oh my gosh I'm oh my gosh he came right through the tunnel and stopped right there about 20 yard shot Thank you, Jesus. That's what it's all about right there. I, don't, I can't describe uh, how I feel right now. I've been hunting hard, and this is the third year in a row I've shot a buck in October, <sighs> all around the same time, too. This is, this is amazing. Um, you know, I can't, I can't tell a non-hunter how, how hunting makes a hunter feel. It's just... For me, being a Christian and a hunter, it just makes me feel so closer to God that He provided food for my table, for my family, and He lets me do this. And it is just so amazing. Um, I'm going to go get Kyler, and we're going to go get this buck. So this is where he got shot. There's some blood there. And then, so air went in. There's his track where he stopped. He went, came through this tunnel. I sent the kids and Tiana and Kate out here. We're gonna go find him now. He walked straight down this trail right here. So you see, his all this is him. He came from this direction, and I was looking at that direction. Sorry about the sun. I'm gonna give this to Kyler. 
and we're going to go find him. Step with spit. Ow. Ow. Ha. Pointer. You see, he's not that old, but look at his body. Look at all that meat. This is an Ohio soybean fed buck, which is going to be healthier than any beef or anything else you're going to find out there. You tell it's a lung shot, the arrow barely went through this side, he was quartering this side because of all the bubbles and the bright red blood. So, what I'm going to do is going to drag this into the grass and then uh, we're going to take care of it take some pictures and make some phone calls. I'm glad I could share this with everybody. Be blessed. I don't know how to stop it. Just press the middle button. All right, so we got it here in the yard. Eight. Eight pointer. We got an eight pointer here with the bow. It's archery season. Like I said, October 27th, I shot him about 5.45. Uh, Tiana and everybody was praying for me and Kyler. Right, Kai? Yeah. And shot him right after they got done praying, probably. So, got him, found him. You didn't shoot me. I didn't shoot Kyler. Shot the deer. Okay, that's it. There's the entry. You saw the exit. See the entry. It's where the blade pops open. It's a... Um, Rage. 125 grain. Two blade. Alright. Be blast. Right, Kyler? Yeah.